Continuing our lesson on regular polygons, let's look at the regular hexagon. Hexagon meaning six sides. In this particular picture, we want to find the length of W, X, Y, and its area in simplest radical form. Let's look at the template we learned for the regular hexagon. The regular hexagon has the special 30, 60, 90 triangle inside of it. A, 2A as the hypotenuse, and A radical 3 as the longer leg. So inside of my regular hexagon, that means that half of one of the sides is my A. The opossum is the A radical 3, and the radius is 2A. But look at the radius and the side of the regular hexagon. They're both 2A. The radius and the side of a regular hexagon will always be the same length. Let's put in our labels. I now know that W is 2A, X is 2A, the Y is A radical 3, and the four feet I was given is my value of A. This is a very easy problem. If A is equal to four feet, then 2A is equal to eight feet. So X is eight feet and W is eight feet. But again, if A represents four feet, then Y is equal to four radical three feet. Now we've found our three basic lengths. Let's use that to figure out our area. Area again is equal to one half multiplied by the opossum multiplied by the perimeter. The opossum is the one that goes to the side of the regular polygon at a 90 degree angle. In this picture, it's my Y value. The perimeter again is all of the sides added together. Well, one side was eight feet and there were six sides. So the perimeter of this shape is found by taking eight multiplied by six or 48 feet. Let's plug in what we know. We now know that the area is equal to one half multiplied by four radical three, because that was our opossum, the value of y, multiplied by 48, the entire perimeter. We're leaving this in simplest radical form, so I really want to multiply the one half by the four by the 48. That gives me 96. Bring the radical three down like a little caboose, and the answer is 96 radical three feet squared for the area of this regular hexagon.